Hello Cancer! So this is going to be your new moon reading for June 21st, which is also solstice, the beginning of Cancer season, and there's a solar eclipse. So there's a lot going on in your sign this weekend, like all at once. So we're going to pull some cards and see what's going on there. If you're new to my channel, my name is Melissa and I do tarot readings based on the new moon energy and the full moon energy. So we're looking at the new moon and then we'll be looking at the full moon in a couple of weeks. So let's get some cards. Oh boy, we have a bunch of cards coming out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They're really showing themselves. Okay, this one came out first. The first one out was the King of Swords. Then we had the Fool. And we had the Nine of Cups. So uh, I definitely see... Um, I'm getting like a cutting ties. Uh, I'm cutting something out. Um, the King of Swords is definitely um, a masterful communicator. So it could be, um, it could also be an air sign. So if you're dealing with an air sign or you have air in your chart, this could be representing you as a person. But overall, the energy I'm getting from the card is cutting something. So cutting something out, um, which is not typically what I get with that card, but that's what's coming forward. Um, we also have the Fool and the Nine of Cups. So like a new journey, you know, not necessarily... Uh, like a, a na naive um, feeling, not, you know, knowing what you're getting into fully, but ultimately you're, you're, you're seeking this happiness. Okay. And um, I, I feel like that the nine is definitely a um, kind of like a solo number. Like it's a, oh, like the 10 would be like adding the family and the dog, you know, um, but the Nine of Cups is knowing who you are fully, being happy with yourself, and um, feeling very content and satisfied. Uh, so I feel like you're you're kind of cutting something out to um, embark on a new journey that may be um, heading you towards just your ultimate taking care of yourself and satisfying yourself and being your own kind of person. So let's see what else the cards have. What is coming up for Cancer? along this journey. Definitely fitting for the new moon, um, the fool there. And what will Cancer find on their journey? Oh, find yourself. You find yourself, I'm hearing. Okay. Okay. You don't want to give me a card for that? Okay. Yeah. So uh, let's ask another question. Let's uh, let's ask what intentions you, sh you should be looking at putting out for this new moon. What intentions should Cancer focus on for this new moon? There we go. We have the Four of Swords. Okay, so swords under, under the swords. We have the Four of Swords, which is kind of like a rejuvenation. Um, really pulling forward for me, um, Mercury Retrograde retrograde um also happening um june 19th i believe maybe 18th um is when retro when we are actually into retrograde uh for mercury uh, there are other mercury there are other retrogrades but with the retrogrades you want to look at the re words okay so the beginning of retrograde is re um so retro meaning backwards you want to look back and reassess rejuvenate um all the other re words you want to recalculate recalibrate renew refresh um those kinds of words are what's really coming forward when i see this card it reminds me of you know rest and rejuvenation taking time for yourself but also it's kind of pulling up some mercury retrograde um all the other planets that are in retrograde that i can't remember all of them <laughs> there are so many but um, definitely pulling pulling into that energy of really taking care of yourself, um, and uh, you know, taking a step aside. Step aside. I'm getting kind of like a step aside um, kind of vibe there. So you know, taking time for yourself. If you have to take time away, then that um, that may be something that comes up for you to um, kind of try and manifest. Is maybe some time away for yourself. All right, what else does Cancer need to know about this new moon intention? Okay. Now we have the four of cups, so we have another four. Okay, so now we have the cups. Again, 
do you notice this? Do you notice this? Okay. Very similar looking um, energy. There's similar energy here. We have the swords, which are air, thought, uh, the cups, which are emotions, water. Uh, so it's, it's really like... I'm also noticing a difference between there's three here and then one here and then this one there's three behind her one in front it's really about what you focus on um bringing something into focus that uh, you know bringing one thing into focus at a time uh that you may need to take a break from um again taking a break from something maybe somebody's trying to um communicate with you uh somebody's trying to share feelings with you somebody's trying to get you to share with them and it, you know it may just be a time to just bow out gracefully just say you know like I'm, I'm not really I'm not really in that space right now I really have to focus on myself um, again with another similarity is the position that we're sitting in here in this cups card so uh, again it's it's really a lot of taking time for yourself uh, which may may become you know like everybody wants to celebrate for you know birthdays like you have got birthday season coming up for you um, but it's uh it may be a time to um take this solar return as something to focus more within for um definitely maybe feeling a little bit in your crabby shell um but you're you're not really wanting to you're not really wanting to take in a whole lot right now in both of these cards the eyes are closed uh and i i feel like you're not wanting to take a whole lot in you're really it's really a good time for you to focus on yourself all right and i don't i don't really see a whole lot of other people other than that king of swords energy which i got the cutting out um i feel like that that may just be somebody that you're um trying to take a break from possibly do we have any other messages for cancer regarding the new moon okay and do we have any advice for cancer going forward in this cycle Interesting shuffle. Yeah, that's why. Okay. We have the three of wands. Okay. So again, looking away, looking away, um, maybe um, making a plan. Uh, the three is kind of where, you know, you had the idea. It's you're like on the steps where you're actually pulling some things together. You're you're starting to think about what resources you have at your disposal, that kind of thing. Um, but again, looking away, not wanting to look. And honestly, the only one I really see their face or their eyes at least is these two. Okay, so you know you don't see you don't see the face in this card either. I'm just getting a lot of you know focusing on you and not really worrying about everything that's external right now. External is not the issue. Um, external is not what um, what your focus should be on right now. Um, and again, with this one looking away, it's kind of like, you know, it, it, sometimes you may have to turn your back on something or someone in order to better yourself. So that is the advice that I'm getting. Um, I do want to pull a more card to clarify this King of Swords. Why is this King of Swords here? <laughs> the Hermit. Okay, yeah, it's something, it's really about you cutting something out, cutting out uh, any external bullshit, and, and really kind of focusing on yourself. The hermit is the one who uh, leaves by himself. Um, it kind of reminds me, and I'm not super um, into like religion stories, but I did go to church when I was a kid, and there's a story about the prodigal son, you know, like he leaves and then he, you know, he like defines something great and then he comes back he finds himself right and if that's the i feel like the hermit kind of represents that in this case that you know the hermit is the one who um kind of takes his leave goes up into the mountains lives by himself and and just uh can you know takes care of himself uh i feel like that's what this king is trying to tell you it's time to kind of cut out any of the external stuff and you know kind of like maybe pack your shit and move into your cancer crab shell uh, a little bit so yeah like I feel like that just kind of um that was not representing necessarily another person but um anything external in general uh that you're kind of leaving behind and and moving on forward for you know a new beginning that you may not know all of the steps that you want to take you may not know where it's going but you're trusting the journey um leap and a net will appear 
is what I'm feeling for you for this uh, lunar cycle um, and a happy birthday to those that are celebrating upcoming and thank you so much for watching I will see you in the next video where we talk about your full moon energy so make sure you hit subscribe and ring that bell for notifications as always have a blessed day